ask um, that everyone uh, mute themselves unless they are speaking. That will cut down on the noise level and also prevent, prevent audio feedback. To unmute yourself, if you're on a telephone, it's star six. Uh, today, for the record, is September 26th, 2024, and the Missouri Public Service Commission has set this time for a local public hearing to give members of the public a chance to comment about Liberty's general rate increase application. And that is file number GR 2024-0106. The commission regulates the rates charged by public utility companies in Missouri to ensure that those rates are just and reasonable. The commission also regulates the quality of service and safety of the operations of public utilities. There are five commissioners. They are appointed by the governor and confirmed by the Senate. The commission employs a staff of engineers, accountants, attorneys, financial analysts, and other specialists in the field of utility regulation. My name is Charles Hatcher, and I'm the regulatory law judge that will preside over this hearing. With me today are Chair Kayla Hahn, Commissioner Maida Coleman, Commissioner Jason Holzman, Commissioner Glenn Kolkmeyer, and Commissioner John Mitchell. The commissioners have not made any decisions in this case, and therefore they cannot answer any questions today because they do have to remain impartial until after all of the evidence is presented. Are there any opening remarks from our commissioners? Thank you, Judge Hatcher. Uh, Chair Hahn, I just want to Take a minute to thank those that have signed up to testify today. I know you're taking time out of your schedule on what is a beautiful day outside. And I want to thank our staff who continue to be engaged in local public hearings in this case. And I look for forward to hearing the comments. And I know that we have several commissioners on the line and I know that they share similar sentiments. So appreciate everyone being here and look forward to the comments provided today. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Are there any other commissioners that would like to make some opening remarks? All right, hearing none, let's turn to our attorneys. Uh, for Liberty, would uh, their counsel please introduce themselves? Star six to unmute if you're uh, on the phone. Good, af Good afternoon. This is Jermaine Grubbs. I'm a director of legal services for Liberty Utilities Central Region, appearing on behalf of Liberty Utilities, Mid-States Natural Gas Corporation, doing business as Liberty. Thank you, Ms. Grubbs. And for the commission's staff, if you'd please introduce yourself. Scott Stacy, Deputy Staff Counsel, representing staff, 200 Madison Street, Jefferson City, Missouri, 65101. Thank you, and for the Office of the Public Council. Hi there, this is Anna Martin. I am the Associate Attorney representing the Office of the Public Council. Thank you. Uh, the process uh, for this hearing will be to call the names that have been registered um, to testify at this hearing in the order that they registered. Um, I will, after those names are called, give an opportunity for anyone else who is in attendance who would like to testify today. Uh, when I do call your name, please go ahead and unmute yourself. If you're on a phone, again, that is star six. Um, I will then place you under oath and ask you to state and spell your name, and that'll be for our court reporter. And then you can offer your comments to the commission. Uh, I'd like to also restate what I, uh, I stated when I first came into our WebEx hearing, and that is that there's a chat function in WebEx that is not part of the record that will not be submitted to the commissioners. So if you have been in the chat function um, and you still want to testify, you'll need to go ahead and, and let us know and we can put you under oath and on the record. Uh, with that, my first name on the list is Jan Deering. If Jan Deering could unmute, that's star six again, and go ahead and speak up so that your um, icon uh, pops to the front of our WebEx screen.
I'll ask one more time, Jan Deering. Okay, I'll come back and ask uh, for Jan Deering uh, again in a minute. Our next name is Elizabeth Bridges. Elizabeth Bridges, if you're on the line, please unmute yourself. You can press star six if you're on a phone. Okay, I'll go ahead and open it up to anyone who is in attendance that would like to offer their comments. And this is a good time um, to give a couple of uh, a uh, piece of information to everyone. We will be limiting testimony to five minutes so that everyone has a chance to testify. And also, um, um, well, again, when um, um, any comments that you made in the question and answer portion, I know it can be a little confusing, um, but that is not part of the record. So the commissioners and myself will not have any opportunity to read over what was asked or any of the answers that were given in the Q&A. So if you would still like to make comments, you'll need to do that on the record and under oath. Would anyone like to go ahead and make comments that had not pre-registered? Just go ahead and unmute yourself and speak up. And again, it's star six to unmute if you're yes. on a phone. Yes, who is that? Hi, my name's Megan. Um, I live in um, Malden, Missouri, down in the boot heel. Um, and with this increase, my rate would be near doubling a month, um, especially in the summertime. My rates, I usually only pay the base rate, so that would be going up $16 a month almost, basically doubling my rate. I completely Megan? understand if costs have to go. Yes. I'm sorry to interrupt. I need to swear you in first. Um, would oh, you gotcha. please? I understand. Would you please state uh, and spell your full name for us? Sure. It's Megan Shabosky Aiken. My name is M E G A N. My last name is spelled S is in Sam, H is in Hotel, E as in Edward, E is in Boy, O is in Oscar, S is in Sam, K is in Kitchen, Y is in Yo Yo, and then Aiken, A is in Apple, K is in Kitchen, E is in Edward, N is in Nancy. Sorry, it's long. <laughs> no, I, I understand. Thank you, Ms. Shabowski Aiken. Um, I'm going to swear you in now. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. And please, I didn't mean to interrupt. Please go ahead and proceed with your Oh, no, comment. sorry. That totally my fault. Totally my fault. I was looking at the profit and loss, you know, the annual report and everything while you're talking. Sorry. Um, so I live down in the boot heel in Malden, Missouri. And right now, during the summertime, especially, the rate that I pay for gas is usually only the base rate because we don't use that much in the summertime. So my rates will effectively be almost doubling for the summertime, and I'm not even sure how much they'll go up in the wintertime. I completely understand if costs need to go up for legitimate reasons, but C-suite level executives making millions and millions and millions of dollars and the company profits skyrocketing is not a legitimate reason for an increase. Greed is not a legitimate increase reason for an increase especially when we have no choice in who our gas provider is. I only have this one option. It is monopolized in my area, and I assume in most areas. Looking at the annual report from Algonquin last year, I'm seeing that the net, uh, the adjusted net earnings for 2023 were $115.5 million. If they're profiting that much, they do not need to increase our rates. That's the end of my statement. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Shabosky. Uh, Shabosky Aiken, I appreciate your comments. Do any commissioners have any questions for Ms. Shabosky Aiken? Well, thank you, ma'am. You are excused. Um, are there any other witnesses that would like to offer their testimony today? Yeah, I'd like to go as well. Uh, thank you. Uh, would you please go ahead and state and spell your name for our court reporter? Yeah, of course. Uh, my name is Kyle Aiken, spelled K-Y-L-E-A-K-E-N. 
Uh, you just heard from my wife. We uh, both live in Malden, Missouri. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, let me know when you guys are ready. I'm sorry, Mr. Aiken, I didn't catch that last part. Oh, I was, uh, I was just saying, uh, let me know when I should proceed with my. Oh, okay, statement. let me go ahead and swear you in. Uh, do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? As far as I know, yes. Thank you, please go ahead. Okay, so I, uh, I've only briefly been able to look at the financials of this company. But I noticed that in I've been looking across the past 5 years because. Or 6 years, because it's the most relevant since the last hike. And I noticed in 2020, they had a net earnings of half a billion dollars. Which are earnings attributable attributed to shareholders. And I looked across uh, the all of the years and it seems like the average earning is around 300 million. Or so over those 6 years for the company. Uh, so it doesn't appear to me that they're struggling financially or I did notice in 2022, they had a loss uh, of 70 some million dollars. But other than that, they've made significant income for the past six years. So I, I would really like to, and I think everyone deserves to know, like, why haven't they been more transparent with, uh, you know, their, why aren't their shareholders here speaking? Why aren't they providing financial information? Uh, why is it so difficult to ascertain who their subs like who they are as a subsidiary and who is the parent controlling company? You know, these are all things that I think would be very relevant to this uh, to this meeting. And I'm just curious. There seems to be a lack of uh, transparency on the part of the company, and with these. These rate heights are pretty significant for most of us. And I think I speak for, I, I could safely assume I speak for most of this assembly when I feel like uh, they haven't at least thus far provided enough information that would justify a hike. And that's, that's all I have for now. All right, thank you, Mr. Aiken. Are there any commissioner questions for Mr. Aiken? Okay, hearing none. I'll return to our witness list uh, before I open it up um, again to those in attendance. Is there a Jan Deering on the line? Jan Deering. And that's star six to unmute if you're calling in from a phone. Okay, hearing none. Hello. Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Hello, this is Jan F. Deering. Yes, uh, Ms. Deering, um, let me go ahead and um, swear you in. Uh, do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Thank you. And if you could please state and spell your name for our court reporter. Jan F. Deering, J-A-N-F as in Frank. Deering, D as in dog, E A R I N G. Thank you. And um, I please, would like go... to say, okay. I would like I'm to say, as go a ahead. senior citizen, as a senior citizen, it is hard to keep up with the increases everyone wants to make. And um, as others have mentioned, um, you know, when you're on the, um, higher end of these people making the money. They don't seem to understand that when a senior citizen is on a fixed income, these increases really do hit the hit our pockets hard. So uh, it would be uh, well noted if the increases weren't so drastic uh, at a time and um, take us into consideration that most of us are already struggling without having increases made like this. Okay, thank, thank you, you. Ms. Deering. Did, are there any commissioner questions for Ms. Deering?
All right, hearing none, I'll move to the next name that we had on our registered list, Elizabeth Bridges. Is there an Elizabeth Bridges on the line? That'll be star six to unmute if you're on a phone. Okay, hearing no response, we'll go back to um, everyone else in our WebEx room. Is there anyone else who would like to offer their comments to the commissioners? Okay, I'll ask again, this will be the end of the hearing right after this. Are there any other witnesses who would like to testify today and give their comments to the commission? Yes. Yes, please go ahead and state uh, your name. My Hi, first name is Easy. Hello. Oh, go ahead. Yes, uh, go ahead, sir. Uh, yes, my, my name is Doug Anyart. First name is Easy, D O U G, Anyart, E N Y A R T. And let me swear you in, Mr. Inyart, do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. Please go ahead with your comments. Okay. Um, I'm president of the board of a small water company or water district in southeast Missouri. Um, we, we had our last rate increase three years ago. And the way we go about that is that we have a third party, which is the Missouri Rural Water Association, uh, do a financial analysis to, to help us determine how much we need to raise the rates. Okay, so that was, that was three years ago. We just received the analysis uh, for this year. We know we're gonna have to raise rates. So, but that's three years, um, three years apart. Now, Liberty has has already told us that it, they're, they're, it's been six years since they imposed a rate increase. And by the time it's all said and done and imposed, that's gonna be more like seven years. In my opinion, that's irresponsible. And overall, with such a huge proposed increase, I can only lay that down in two words, and that would be gross mismanagement. And that is my testimony. Thank you, Mr. Emyart. I appreciate that. Are there any commissioner questions for Mr. Emyart? All right, hearing none, I think we had one other witness who was wanting to testify. Again, that's star six to unmute. Go ahead and tell us your name. Okay, I may have been mistaken on that. I'll call one more time for witnesses and then that'll be the end of our hearing. We will uh, close it down. Are there any other persons in attendance who would like to testify and give their comments to the commission? It's star six to unmute if you're on a phone. Okay, hearing none, um, I'll ask for any closing comments from the commissioners. Do any commissioners uh, want to make any closing comments? Chair Hahn. Yes, Judge. Go oh, ahead. sorry. Go ahead, Commissioner Colmeyer. You want to take it for all of us? I will. Yes. Um, thank you, Chair. Um, on behalf of all the commissioners, I want to thank everyone that uh, took their time out to uh, testify today. We uh, re really appreciate uh, your testimony, and we will take this all in consideration. So thanks again. Uh, thanks, Judge Hatcher. Thank you, Commissioner Kolkmeyer. Any other commissioners with closing remarks? Okay. Um, I would like to echo Commissioner Kolkmeyer's 
uh, gratitude for everyone showing up today over their lunch hour. Um, if you do have additional comments, you know somebody who uh, could not be present to comment, um, please, you can still make comments on this case by going to the Public Service Commission's website. And that website is psc.mo.gov. And in the upper right-hand corner of that website is a link that says Submit Comments. Just make sure to include the case number for this case. And that is GR, and that stands for Gas Rate GR-2024-0102. And uh, you have also um, heard from the Office of the Public Council in the question and answer session today. If you have any follow-up questions for them, you can email them at MO, as in Missouri, M-O-P-C-O, -O, the at symbol, opc.mo.gov. Again, that is M O. P C O at OPC dot mo dot gov. I want to thank everyone for uh, being here today, council and commissioners. Uh, this hearing is now adjourned and we're off the record. Thank you.